everyone. We are in Xiamen City and this is the third affiliated hospital of Xiamen University. As you can see, there are a lot of people all around. This is kind of a very crowded space. And behind me, there are a lot of people registering, waiting for their turn to be a, a consultation with a doctor. And we're learning today what is the process of the evolution of the medical services here in China. And this is something we've seen in several cities in China. Today in this hospital, we are learning a little bit about what is going to be this evolution of these services. Now, instead of coming all the way from different places of the city to the hospital, we can simply use our phone. We will download an app and directly have a consultation with a professional medical services, with an expert that will tell you what is the problem, what are the symptoms that you have. You can communicate directly, even through a video call if necessary, and the doctor will tell you what is the problem that you might have. Of course, you need to go through a verification process in order to know your ID and all this kind of uh, information that you will do in a hospital as a regular process, but but instead of coming here, you will do it through your phone. This will reduce the risk of infection if another person is also ill in the same area. This will also reduce the time that you will spend coming from your place to the hospital. It will uh, reduce the money that you will spend by coming to the hospital. So definitely, this is a great news. So probably in the next few years, the scene of this hospital will be looking totally different. We're seeing a lot of people uh, double checking within the different booths or the different areas to have access to the medical services but in the future we might only see just a few people here only if you really need a medical service if you need you to go through a test or any surgical process you need to come As you can see, there's a lot of people behind me. Uh, this is a kind of look like a very crowded hospital. I consider this is the direction we're going through. Migrate to these online services. Of course, when you need uh, to do a test or when you need to do a more in-depth verification of your health status, you definitely need to come here. But for the first uh, part, when you need to simply double check or verify uh, what are your symptoms, you can do it online. There are even some parts where you can actually talk directly to a doctor and a specialized staff in the hospital and they, you can talk directly and let them know what are your symptoms and they can even prescribe some medicines to the specific symptoms that you're presenting. see behind me there is a huge amount of people and you saw it before in the main lobby of the hospital so one of the main reasons uh, China is looking forward to improve these services and implement more online distance services is to avoid this kind of chaos and to make also this medical service reach as many people as possible probably some people in uh, far remote areas do not have access to full quality medical services. Through the use of online services and this application I was talking about, that is going to be possible to reach more people and to uh, make these people have access to good quality medical services. right now in one of the units where the patients will go after the small treatments or surgeries that they might have. You can see here all the equipment is good quality, they can with the latest technology, all the equipment that they might need for keep double checking after the treatments. You can see here this monitor and all the cables and all the equipments that they might need to the doctor follow up and the nurses follow up the evolution of the patient. And you can see it's very bright, very spacious, very nice and good looking. Even the view is very nice. You have a lot of access to natural light to improve the speed of the recovering of the patient. You have a chair that can be converted into, into a small little bed for the family of the patient if they want to spend some time. You have some chairs here, you have a TV. I think even though this is a hospital with many years of history, it has uh, been able to keep up with the pace of the evolution of the growth of the city, offering convenient, good looking and good quality services for all the patients that use these facilities.
And we are right now in one of the hallways of these medical centers. You can see uh, it looks very new, very modern, very clean, very spacious. And the shape of this building is it was designed in order to locate all the different rooms in the outer space of the buildings to guarantee natural light access to the rooms. All the offices and all the spaces that the doctors will use are located in the inner part of the building, so they don't have access to this part. But of course, since we're talking about patients that need access to natural light, they need to be located, of course, in spaces like this. You can see all the decorations and some paintings in the room have been made by the medical staff of this center. So the, by themselves, they just came here and paint the different designs to make more friendly and more suitable for little kids that also might be using these spaces.我们这个病房像一共有四十八张床成人的这种墙会让他们感觉会更加舒适一点Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day-to-day -day and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.